everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. So, <clears throat> today is something slightly new, right? We've been getting all of these Tears of the Dragons, but there's one more thing we need to do, and that one thing we need to do lies right here. That's where we need to go, that green dot over there. That is exactly where we want to go. Because that little thing over there leads down into the depths, right? Every single one of these little... Like, this leads down into the depths. Over here, this leads down into the depths. If you see one of these little red things, it leads down into the depths. The reason we need to go over there is because of the fact that you cannot gain access to the Korok Forest, where the Great Deku Tree is, by normal means like you were able to before. Basically, you have to go underneath uh, the Korok Forest, and then up out of it. Or up out of the depths. Um, so that is our goal for today. Hopefully that won't take us too long, because I would like to get the Master Sword today. Oh, come on, Link. I also, uh, on my free time, I have been playing A Link Between Worlds on Hero Mode, which is the first time I'm ever doing that one. Is that a rock? Was that a rock? What the heck was that? Alrighty, then. Honestly, if I'm going to be, like, fully, truthfully honest here, this next part might be a bit difficult. It might be a bit difficult, because basically, we have to fight a boss that can, without a shadow of a doubt, one-shot us without a problem. And that's where the problems begin. Everything else, getting into the Korok Forest and all that type of stuff, that's easy, right? We've already gotten all the Tears of the Dragon. The only reason we're doing this is for an extra cutscene that you that is shown in the Tears of the Dragon in the final tier, right? There's like a little piece of a cutscene that is shown in that final tier um, that you get from doing the thing in the Korok Forest, which is why we're doing it. <clears throat> So we are just going to head right over this way. I keep accidentally pushing down on the left stick. I don't know why. Okay. There's an evil tree there. Grab all of this stuff. And this time, here's the thing, last time I did this on my first playthrough, I messed up. Oh, Jesus, I can't see the floor. Okay, well there it is. There's the floor right there. As you can see, the Minchi Grove. Uh... As you can see, there's lava over there. If you're wondering why there's lava down here in the depths, it's because, oh, wait a second, if you look over that way, you will actually find out. That that is right underneath basically the Elden area, which if you don't know, the Elden area is filled to the brim with lava. It's also really, really hot in the Elden area. 
There's a tree there. Okay. What the heck is this? Powerful order that can disorient and confuse. Is that the... Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? Yup. That... Jesus. Wow, really? Is it? It looks like it. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that over there might actually be the fire temple. Yes, you heard me right. The bloody fire temple. I'm going to be perfectly honest at the moment. I honestly c couldn't tell you if I'm going the right way or not. I'm just kind of taking a guess over here. I mean, hey, we are getting a, a, quite a few pulls out of this, so I won't complain about that. This area up here is where it might get a tiny bit scary. This is definitely where we're meant to be. Whew! Okay. Now the reason we're running like heck at the moment is because if you didn't see it, the hands are here. Oh my god, and they caught up a lot faster than I thought they would. Oh god, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go! Let me go. I hate those damn hands. I really, really do. Okay, then. So here comes kind of like the unfun part about this section. So first things first, let's grab this thing over here. Let's activate the light route. <clears throat> All right. No, I'm not going to use that. Um there. Okay, so now if I remember correctly, all I've got to do is this. This is going to take a while. Yep. Right here. You can kind of see the gloom coming off of him and everything. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to activate this shrine. We're not going to do it just yet. We're just going to activate it for the moment. And as you can see, none of the Koroks are talking. This is where things are going to get a little bit crazy. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's 
do this. As you can see, it's not very dark here in the Deku Tree Chasm. Jesus Lord. This is instantly just gone directly to hell. Read you a little bit of help would be appreciated! Okay, you know what? We're loading the save. Okay. <laughs> I did not have as much, as much problem with this last time. Then again, last time I had two sages with me instead of one. What are you doing? Oh my god. You can kind of keep them at bay with a with well placed shots. fun part. <laughs> Why did I run? Okay, so little little thing. Um the first time I did this, of course, I ran away from him every time he did that charge attack. I don't know why I did it this time. Really? Well, okay then. Jesus, I completely messed that up. Oh my god! Oh my god, my shield. Okay, so some of you might be wondering, Oh my god, he's doing a really good job in this fight. All of a sudden, right? When he's freaking dodging everything. Damn it. 
I should have kept my mouth shut. That's because Phantom Ganon's moveset is the exact same moveset of the final boss Ganon. Right? So, basically, I've seen all of these moves before. I'm gonna switch my shield here just in case. I don't want my freaking Hylian shield to break. Get dunked on. See, we've basically just saved the Korok Forest. But yeah, Phantom Ganon's moveset is literally, basically, the exact same as Final Boss Ganon. So, if, here, so you know what? I guess that's like a good way to practice the Ganondorf fight for the end of the game, is fight multiple um, Phantom Ganons. Because it's literally the exact same moveset, you get the same exact tells. Basically, um, fun, fun little thing, this is how I figured it out. Um, when you're fighting Ganondorf or Phantom Ganon, when they do the charge attack, the charge attack, in my opinion, is one of the easiest ones to dodge and parry rush, uh, or flurry rush, because of the fact that if you look at the Ganondorf's legs and feet, if you look at his legs and feet while he's doing this, I know this, is, this sounds weird, but... When he stops, he breaks, like, okay. He has the sword at an angle when he's dashing. When he stops the dash, he puts his foot down. Usually, usually, most of the time, when he puts his foot down, that's the tell for you to freaking dodge. Because when he puts his foot down, that means the swing is about to come out. So if you do it, usually when he puts his foot down, you'll get the flurry rush and it's super easy. <sighs> You did it! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero! The Great Teku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest! I was about to say, how the heck do I get out of here? I could just teleport out, but I want to see if this works. Is this a viable way to get out of here? I don't know. We're about to find out. It looks like it. Alrighty then. Silent Princess. Alrighty then, Mr. Deku Tree. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. This is slightly different. Um. So it is you. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy, as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It has been some time since we last spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes, the last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Fully restored. Go 
Dimitri, thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. But the sword, it would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What is this then? You do not know where the Master Sword is. I see. Yet I can sense it, even now. There can be no mistake. Brad. <laughs> okay. In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. Alright, and now... We do this. Don't worry why we did that. Just... We did it, okay? Come right over here to get the final dragon tier, and then we nab the Master Sword, baby. Alright. Final tier is literally right here. Thank you. 
be strong, a master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. So that's that done. <clears throat> so now we know exactly where the Master Sword is. It's on top of the dragon. Uh, that's quite far away. I don't think I can make that distance. I'll make an attempt, but I don't. I doubt that I'll make it. I'll probably have to catch her from one of the other towers. So yeah, now basically it's just like a race to actually get on top of the dragon to get the Master Sword. But yeah, um, if you couldn't tell by that cutscene, Zelda is the dragon. We found out what happened to Zelda. There's two dragons right next to each other here, seriously. There's two of them right here. Look, the the fire dragon with um, Dinral and the other one, uh, the light dragon, Zelda. Now thinking about it, the light dragon doesn't really have a name, does it? Oh, 
Oh, baby, this works perfectly. Let's go. Okay, this is about to end. No link. Alrighty then. Now before we actually uh, nab, actually we can nab it after we get the master sword. Here it is. Of course, pulling a sword out of a dragon is gonna hurt. So, this is why we needed that full stamina meter. Or an extra full uh, stamina bar. It's exactly why we needed it. Ugh, God! Stop struggling! Give me a second! This will only take a second if you calm down! I'm sorry, Zelda. You were the one that decided to put the freaking sword here. Not my fault. Sorry, I was not paying attention.
Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm so glad I did that with the Ocarina of Time outfit. That makes it look so much more cool. Oh, heck yeah! Also, by the way, I just want to say, if you actually look at the sword in certain light, you'll actually see that the part of the blade that is new is a different color from the rest of the blade. You can actually see it very well in the cutscene. And also, if you notice, the Master Sword does not have a damage number. I believe it still does its regular base 30 damage, but it no longer has a damage number. So, the question is, what do we do now? Because there is so much to be done. Alright, here's what I say we do. We take out the rest of the shrines that we have yet to do, and then, after that, we head for... Uh, Zoro's Domain, which is right here. And since we have the tower, we can skip all of this. So, let's start with these poppers. This one's an easy one, so we're going to start with this one first. So yeah, we have the Master Sword now. I'm happy. Alright. So, here we go. Now we're playing The Legend of Zelda. Now we're playing The Legend of Zelda. You know, I always, I still f always find it a bit weird that Link is right-handed in this game. There's a bunch of theories as to why Link is actually right-handed in this game. And some of them make a, quite a bit of sense. I heard one theory that the reason Link is right-handed in this game is because since he was trained as an actual knight in this game, uh, he probably started off left-handed, but then they, like, taught him to use the right hand instead. Because if you didn't know, way back when in schools and all of that type of stuff, um, they wouldn't allow you to use your left hand. They would basically, like, teach students to use their right hand no matter what. Right? Even if they were left-handed. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's more like it. Of course, unfortunately, for some reason, Master Sword still takes, like, five to ten minutes to recharge. simply the matter of this guy. Is this gonna work, or am I gonna have to mess with stuff? I think I may end up having to mess with stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hold on a minute. Let me see. That works like that. Then even if I... Oh no, wait a minute. What if I do this? And then I do this. Haha! Huh. <sighs> Can 
gonna need to sneeze. Hey! <coughs> Ugh. Damn allergies! I hate having allergies! Hold on a minute. Alrighty then. So that's one down. So do this one up here. Right, let's get in this uh, freaking thing before we freeze. You know, I always find it funny because temperature was never a problem for any of the other links. <laughs> no, like seriously. Well, I guess actually, you no. Know what? I have to take that back because temperature was a problem for Ocarina of Time Link. That's the reason he needed the Goron tunic. The courage to fall. Oh, I remember this one. Hi there, big boy. <sighs> I need to sneeze again. Hey! Uh, no! Uh. Alright, let's try this again. hit by was that fall damage that I took seriously Ugh. hey big boy <laughs> that works that works get dumped on what do we got Oh, we can also go get the the final ability for the for the arm. Now that I think about it, because I know I can pull that off with a master sword. Oh God! Don't worry, this is actually what we needed anyway. So. Because we need to get this. Key that's in here. I remember this shrine. Oh god, oh god, oh god, ah! I messed up. Not a word, I messed up. You know what? I can actually just do this. Don't think about it. Let's not be stupid for four seconds here. Uh oh. Huh? Get out of here. You're weak. You're weak! Um. No, it's simply right over here. Open this door. Grab Mr. Ball. Bring Mr. Ball with us.
Okay. Stick that thing right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Perfect landing. Now we put this thing in this hole. That sounded wrong. And this door should open. Ugh. We're already 47 minutes in! Good God! I wasn't paying attention to the time! Jesus. Okay. And now we can actually start getting hearts, finally. It'll make my life easier. But you know, of course my, my goal when I first got into the game was immediately, yeah, let's go get the Master Sword. Because why not? It's Link's main weapon, isn't it? Master Sword should not be able to break anyway. Stupid. In my opinion, at least. And look who's here, Mr. Hetsu. Hey, bud. Why don't you expand my inventory a little bit more as well? Uh, let's do bow stash. Yeah, enough of your dancing. Okay, got an extra bow slot. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Shield stash. We already got a pretty big weapon stash, so. Okay, and let's do shield stash. There you go. Quiet. have another one, right? Uh, let's do another shield, because our shield stash is very small. Oh, I don't have three Korok seeds. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to do weapon, unfortunately. Thanks, bud! No, 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 shut up. I'm not speaking to you. I'm gone. Bye. Okay, what is this? Swing to hit.
Easy peasy. I think that's a little that's, that's a little far off. That's better. Easy enough. And from here to over here. Again, right now we're just going from all the shrines that we opened up but didn't do. we go. Alright, what are we doing here? What is this? Uh, obviously that goes there, right? That, that makes sense. Uh, okay, this goes here, which turns that on. Jesus. I did that a little early. I was about to say, did it not work? I got kind of scared there for a second. Alrighty then, it worked. <laughs> uh, again, a lot of these shrines are fairly simple. Especially when you've done them once before. That's another shrine done, and I think we have one more, right? Yeah, the one that's on the Great Plateau. Alrighty then, 
so we just got this one last thing and we're good. Alrighty then, let's do this. Force transfer. Uh... Oh, okay. And then you just smack this. Easy peasy. Is it high enough? I don't think it is. I can test to see if it's high enough. Yeah, definitely not high enough. However, I can make it. Did not go up any higher than that. Let's see if that made any difference. It did. Ha <laughs> ha I did it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm pretty sure that's not the way you're meant to do it, but I got it to work, didn't I? So, what's next? Pretty much have everything done, but let's move over here. We can at least somewhat get started on the uh, Zora quest. Okay then, let's see here. Oh, I don't have a bow equipped. <laughs> there we go. You good, mate? You good? Yeah, I know I saved you. Oh, he just gave me a Zora spear. Okay.
I'm not sure if we're going to have enough splash fruit and all this other stuff to actually be able to pull this off or not. I really hope that we do. Sora's domain should be right there. We should be able to make this, I would think. Alright. Oh my god, I almost just kept going by accident. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I actually get hit by one of those goop things. Is it even possible to get hit by one of those goop things? Alrighty then! So, I think... What's up with the camera? Why is Link not centered? What? Hello? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna end today's episode right here. Thank you all for watching. I didn't come up with a question of the day. Son of a... Ah! Ah, oh, gosh. Hold on, now I have to think of, think of something. Come on. Um... You know what? Since we just got the Master Sword, and since I've been playing A Link Between Worlds, we'll do this. Do you prefer... Level 1, level 2, or level 3 Master Sword. Basically, which is your favorite level of the Master Sword? Level 1, level 2, or level 3? If you don't know any of this, uh, for God's sake, please go play A Link Between Worlds or A Link to the Past. Right? Because that's where this is coming from. Basically, level 1 Master Sword is the basic Master Sword you see in every Zelda game. Level 2 Master Sword is the Master Sword, but... With, depending on which game you play, it either looks like a crimson-ish color, almost orange, or it's like a, a, a pink. Basically, I call it Blood Red, is what I like to call it, because I think that that sounds cooler. Um, but anyway, that's level 2, the blade, and then not level 3, the blade turns gold. So, that's the question of the day. Which is your favorite level of the Master Sword? Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, you know what to do. Please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that like button and that bell icon so you can notify when I make a new video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5.30 p.m. EST. And I'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.